Hi, welcome back to Strength and Conditioning TV. It's me, Brendan Chaplin, and I'm here with Sophie Wood. And we are going today to go through a dynamic warm-up for you. Now, the really important part of this is, first, that you do a warm-up, but secondly, that you do it in the right way. So if you have, say, a 10, 15-minute warm-up every single session, three to four times a week, that's an hour a week of your time. That's 25% of your entire training time devoted to warm-ups. So it makes sense to get something out of that warm-up and not just jog around in a circle and do laps like you see a lot of people doing. So we're going to go through a structure that I refer to as the ramp warm-up. So you're going to raise your pulse, you're going to activate the key muscles, you're going to mobilise, and then you're going to do what's called potentiate or prepare or prime for the activity to follow. Okay, so we're going to start with, real simple, we're going to do some knee picks into a lunge. Okay? Okay. So you're going to pick up your knee here, pull it to your chest, and then step out and lunge and balance, and then move down to the cones there in your own time. That's it, good. And I want to stay really tall in this position. So you bring your knee to your chest rather than your chest to your knee. We don't want to be here. That's it, that's nice. So is this for flexibility? Yeah. A bit of stability maybe? Yeah, yeah. Ball? Absolutely, absolutely. So we're getting good mobility through your hips in this one. But also, as you say, we're getting a little bit of balance work and everything else. Yeah, that's it, that's good, that's good. And then we'll do a slightly similar version of that. You're going to go around your knee, around your thigh, at your shin, and grab your ankle that way. Yep. And then into the lunge from there. Okay, so around the shin, around your ankle, up, and then pull from there. Definitely challenges your balance. Yeah, and glutes, I guess. Yeah, definitely. That's it. There you go. This time of the morning, just wakes you up a bit as well. Oh, yeah. It's all good. It's all good, yeah. yeah. And the next one, we're going to do a side lunge. So we're gonna, and we'll do it with a pivot. Yeah. So you're going to step out to the side here, reach up and out. You're going to have one leg bent, one leg straight with your toes facing forward. Push out of that and pivot into the other side. Okay? Yeah. And just work your way down. It's a great one for your sort of groin area this. Anyone who's doing any sprinting or even like martial arts getting into those deep positions. Good, one more. Nice, good. How's that feel? That was good. Yeah. I feel that working with glutes. Does the job, yeah. does the job, yeah, yeah for sure. Absolutely, yeah. And then we're going to do your classic hand walkout or inchworm. So you're going to reach down, touch your toes, walk your hands out, get into that press up position here, and then reach those, walk those toes back in, keeping your legs nice and straight, as straight as you can. That's it, then keep those uh, legs straight and walk them in. You've got a good flexibility through your hamstrings and whatnot there, so if you're better than me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man, need a bit of work, yeah. <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll let you say that, that's fine. <laughs> nice, good. You can tell you've been doing a bit of preparation in general. It's great movement, that, though, isn't it? It really does do the job in your calves and hamstrings. Yeah, calves as well. Yeah, 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 it's good, it's good. And also, again, it's your core, yeah. keeping your core in as well. Yeah, that stability through your trunk, yeah. absolutely. Uh, and then we'll go into a Spider-Man walk now. So yeah. you're going to do your walk out down, and then you're going to step your hand up, your hand up, your foot up, outside your hand, hold it for a second, and then walk your hands out, and do the other side, okay? You should make your way down to the cones. Good, lovely. One of my yeah, it's a good old stretch, isn't it? Yeah. I've taken my uh, classes that I always get people to do this. Do you? Yeah. yeah. 
Well, it, it's one of them that, like, I'm, it's, it's something that I'm slightly better at this stretch than, say, like the hamstring one. Yeah. But I think it's, some people really do struggle with this one. And um, you see massive, massive tightness through the hips in general with people on this one. So yeah. I think this one, you could do this a lot with most people for, and get a lot of benefit from it. So I've worked a lot on the lower body, the hips. I'm going to work a bit on the upper body now, so the shoulders and the kind of rotators and all the scapular area. Yeah. So the first one, really simple, we're just coming to the middle of the, the, the track here. And all you're going to do is you're just going to go four steps forward, four steps back. Four steps forward, four steps back. Like that. I'm just going to do six times out and back. Off you go. So really good to get all of these muscles firing up and your core and trunk as well. It is, yeah, yeah. You didn't expect this in the warm up, did you? No, definitely not. Good. That's it. Really gets all of this going nicely. Ready for anything that you're doing after, whether it's lifting, whether it's playing a sport, whatever. Good, and then go on to your knees when you're done with that one. And we're going to go straight into a bit of thoracic spine work now. So into your quadruped position and put one hand on your ear, touch your other elbow to the elbow to elbow, and then reach up and open out that thoracic spine in that way. That's it. And then if you follow your elbow with your eyes and get right up and try and point it right to the ceiling, we're trying to get this area right opened up nicely that's it this is definitely my weak spot yeah yeah my yeah. Back's really bad. We, we've, we've done quite a bit in the past haven't we yeah. but this is one for you because everybody's got those areas that you struggle with like me for me it's my hamstrings this is one for you yeah. it's just just maintenance manage it and have it in your program all year round and just do it basically yeah. so we've done a little bit of upper body there yeah. um and then we're going to finish with we're going into that prepared, prepare mode now. So we've mobilized, we've activated some of those key muscles. We're going into that potentiation or that priming or that preparation. So that's where we can do a bit more power, a bit more explosive stuff. So we're going to just start with, well, for you, being a sprinter and having experience, we'll just start with some kind of high knee type sprint drills. So just going to get those knees firing a little bit. So if you go up to the cones and back there and back, and get those those ankles nice and uh, yeah, go high with it. Yeah, yes. go get your arms into it. Yeah, good. Head up, chest up. Good. And it's the sound on the floor that I like with this. It's like that tapping sound on the. Uh, this is not the best floor for it, but uh, it just you can tell if it's been done right with yeah. the sound it makes on the floor. Yeah. Like it's a real like if you're very heavy and it's just not the right way to yeah. do it. You just want that tap tap tap, don't you? Up and down, nice yeah. And fast. Absolutely. Least amount of time on the floor as possible. Mm, yeah, cool. Right, so that's the first one. Second one, we're going to do some broad jumps. Yep. So horizontal, and you're going to stick the landing. So we don't want like on the landing, yep. we want like nice and long, and just you could probably get say three in this space. So if you go out with three modest or medium, and then back, you can try and do it in two or th two jumps. Good. Test your balance. Test your stability as well. Good, one more. Good. And then come back, and you can go a little bit more intensity now on this one. You might not get there in two, that would be impressive if you do. But two and a half. <laughs> yeah, a bit of pressure, it's good. Good. Does it matter how low you go? No, not really, as long as you stick it and land it. Good, that's nice. So that's a good exercise because it challenges your balance, yeah. but it also really forces you to extend your hips. Yeah. You've yeah. Got to, and you've got to get your glutes into it. So we yeah. spend a bit of time in the warmer back, getting those ready, getting them warm and mobile and active, and then you've got to get some power through them. Yeah. So if you're then going to go into, say, like a lifting session, whether it's squats or deadlifts or even sprints, if it's a sprinting session, or any sort of sport, they're, they're ready, they're primed, they're explosive to do the job that they actually there to do. Yeah. You know?
It's pretty, that's what it's about. Um, next one, we're going to use the med ball. And all you're going to do is some upper body power now. So you're going to yeah. do up, reach overhead, and you're just going to slam it into the floor like that. Yeah. About four or five reps on that one. Get nice and tall, and then slam it into the floor. Yeah, that's it. Good. Good. That's it. Right through with your hands. Good. Good. Let's do one more. One more. Very nice. Good. So that's getting the, if you like, the pulling muscles of the body ready to be oh, yeah. explosive, yeah, like your lats. Yeah, yeah, you can, can't you? Lats, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. And then the next one, or the last one on this side, we're going to do a press, a med ball yeah. chest pass. And we'll do it with a bit of a squat as well. So you're going to do a squat up and press it out, okay? And try and get it as far as you can to me. And just drive it out horizontally with both hands if you can. So hold it sort of in the middle of your chest. Yeah, like, a bit like a goblet squat, up and then out there, okay? And then power. Nice. Got some good power there. So we'll go for... <laughs> Four or five reps. It is, isn't it? Nice. Get a nice squat with it as well. Nice deep squat. Good. You've raised your pulse. Yeah. You've, you've activated yeah. that heart rate. Yeah. Uh, we've mobilised and activated those key muscles. So we've gone through your uh, glute work yeah. and we've gone through all the, the, the lunges, that kind of thing. We've primed or potentiated the key muscles to follow. And what we did was we've done an explosive lower body movement, the broad jumps. We've done an ex two explosive upper bodies, which is a, a pulling type movement and a pressing type yeah. movement. So that's kind of ticking all the boxes there. Yeah, definitely. So that's the thing with warm ups is you've got to know what the session is to follow before yeah. you design your warm up. That's the number one. Um, but um, if it's tennis, you know, then it's a, t a chance now to practice some of the specific shots, do some specific prep for that kind of activity, if it's whatever sport, whatever activity is, now is the time to do that kind of preparation, that specific yeah. preparation for it. Okay, so um, so hopefully we gave you a good structure there with your warm-up. If you, Whatever you're doing, just try and think about that ramp principle. Raise your pulse, activate the key muscles, mobilize the key areas, the key joints, and then prime or prepare or potentiate, if you want to be a bit more sciencey the key muscles to follow. So get some power, get some explosiveness in there. And that's it. And we'll be back with more content on Strength and Conditioning TV very soon. Thanks for that, Sophie. Great oh, demos. Thank you. It's all good. And we'll see you again soon.